Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm a new YouTuber. I am Brickmaster, and I what I do, um, I basically do World War One, World War Two, and Vietnam, different mocks that are related to basically military wise. I'll do some city mocks and some city creations. Um, basically, I will do some short like creations that I do make, like some. Like a turntable, some different sets that I'll get. I'll just make some reviews on them. But mainly I will do some World War One and World War Two mocks. So basically, yeah. So the thing in front of you is a Renault FT-17 light tank from World War One. This tank right here, um, basically, I've been having for years actually. Um, it is pretty uh, accurate. It is a minifig scale. Um... So let me grab my minifig. So basically that's what it is. It is minifig scale. Um, it does use these uh, tr um, uh, track links from Lego. And I luckily I did have some spare. Because I do have some of them on uh, I think on a different set that I made. Um, basically this does use a bunch of these one by one um tiles or not the tile well they do use tiles and also it does use these uh slopes um it does use these i think one by um uh, three or one by one one by two plates some two by three plates to make it as accurate it can because it is a five i think i think of like a five by five no not five by five but it is a i think a one by five or something like that i just know it's five wide <laughs> It is a five wide and it does go down to a three at the tail because it's sloped down to the tail. Um, the exhaust right here, main gun thirty seven millimeter. I wish I can actually, I wish I can make um different variants of these. Like there is the Renault FT AC tank which had the I think a big like a a mount with a I think a I think a long barrel 37, a long barrel 57 millimeter or something. Um, well, I did make that, um, but sadly I couldn't because all the pieces that did make it, I end up going into another mock and I'll go to here. But I ended up making the original turret for it. Um, there is another variant I did make along with it. It is the Renault uh, radio tank. The command tank, basically, it would just have the whole body with a big box with a little radio right here or back of it. Or, like, a, like it will be, it will have a bunch of like things or stencils on some flex tubing, some wires out for like radio, radioing or morse coding and some commands to like tanks or something. I think that I don't know if that variant was real or something. I don't know for sure. If y'all, if it is real, uh, just comment down below and. And I'll just make my correction. Um, so basically, um, if you want me to do a tutorial on this, I will gladly do a tutorial on this, actually. It is a pretty cool, accurate model. So basically, that is Renault FT-17 light tank. This is my KV-2 turret. This, I'm just going to only show three of my creations today because two of them are really big. And I'll show that in the next video. Um, basically, it's pretty accurate, pretty cool, um, thing, hatches do open, you can put a minifig in there, the only thing I'm missing is the body, but sadly I won't be able to build the body, because, um, some of those pieces that I, um, tried to make the body for, or the mod, the body, I'm, uh, to make it not as accurate but real accurate, the uh, wheels there is two the two of my ones I can make the uh, I can make the Lego tread the actual links that Lego makes. I think it's a one by three wide, um, uh, one or I can make it a I think a one by two wide, but I think the uh, two by I think a one by um, three will make it more accurate because of the big treads. So basically, this is the turret. So yeah, and I have one more creation. It is my World War One trench mock. Um, 
basically I did make this I think two days ago um, you see I did use some techniques that some microbiddles use they don't use the actual color bricks like up here um, because they said that um, when if they're going to use once they are using them because I think if they don't um, uh, what they said use the color bricks because you don't want to use your you're really rare or your color your like a brown or sand or some color bricks if you're gonna make a mock with just use the color inside and then use your gray on top. Um basically uh, just a miniature trench. This is a fun third trooper that I made I think three or four years ago or more. I think mainly four I think. Um some fire there's a piece that just fell right there. Uh, there's a rock, I guess you call it. There's a, a like a, a barrel here with a X, and there's a shovel, um, bob wire up here. There's a, a wood pilot pilot I made, and there goes the uh, back of the flamethrower trooper. I'll just take them off basically. Um, so yeah, um, that is the. World War One mock. See ya, guys. I'm just gonna put this up here. See ya, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, basically, if just tell your friends, send a link or copy this video and send it to them. Um, so yeah, there's the uh, flight third trooper. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see ya, guys later.